Hello and welcome to the mini VIP video series of the Pira. In case you don't know it yet, the Pira will be a small pocket computer, the same size as the Pandora, which I got here, but with a lot more horsepower and possibilities. Right now we got the development board connected to a full HD screen and can use that to show you a bit of uh, what you can expect with the final device. You can also make requests for future videos at the boards or via Twitter. Keep in mind that we just started to work on the OS, so it's pretty much unoptimized, just running a vanilla Debian chassis Linux. The only optimization we did so far was using FB Turbo as X driver, as it speeds up the desktop a lot. No other optimizations has been done yet, so this is the minimum you can expect for the Pira. The future will surely improve things a lot. It was the same with the Pandora. The dev board runs at the stock B speed of 1.5 GHz, so it's not overclocked or anything. The Pera will have a 720p LCD, whereas we're showing full HD here, so everything will be faster on the real device later as well. The reason we're showing full HD though is you can connect the Pira to a mouse and keyboard and to a full HD screen and basically use it as a desktop replacement. So basically what we're showing here is the worst case scenario in regards of speed, things can only improve from here. Also keep in mind we did not manipulate the video, what you see is the real speed, nothing fake, nothing hidden, so this is really what you can expect. Sadly I was not able to uh, record directly the HDMI signal, so I had to use a camera to film the HDMI screen, so if it's a bit blurry um, don't mind about that, of course that won't be the case on the real version. So, let's start. The first video will be some web browsing, um, just so that you know this is actually 1280 times 720 so I can show you how the browser will behave with that resolution and the full screen is of course full HD. So, let's start with uh, starting Ice Weasel, which is basically the same as Firefox and maybe go to the uh, Pandora boards. Yeah, I know we had the thread, uh, what would you like to see here? And I know there were some uh, websites you recommended. Um, not here. Oh, there's a, a YouTube video embedded, which, well, as you can see, works fine as well. Um, no sound because we don't have uh, ALSA configured yet and nothing connected, but, uh, well, as you can see, scrolling still works when the video runs. So, this is a, well, pretty simple site basically, it's the official forum, but that's, that works fine. Okay, um, some of you, somebody uh, told me The Verge should be a pretty slow site, so let's see how it behaves on the full HD screen of the dev board. Uh, it's loading up here. Yeah, it takes a bit, but it's still loading. Now that it's loaded, it's uh, still loading a bit. But it runs already okay. Now it's loaded and it's fast again. Loading always slows down my browser, even on the desktop PC. So this is the speed on the Full HD screen. Let's see how it will uh, work on a 720p screen, so on the LCD. And of course it's a lot smoother and faster here. So that's neat as well. Um, another site I use is Engadget.com, which also uh, has a lot of pictures and stuff uh, like that. No, I don't have Flash and I don't want to install it. And well, this site works fine as well. You can scroll, you can look around, take a look at pictures, working fine. Yeah. Um, another one that suggested YouTube. Well, the videos don't run pretty well yet because we don't have flash or anything and no hardware accelerated player. But the thumbnails um, are loaded fast as well. Scrolling is a bit stuttery on Full HD, but is fine. And of course, if you go to 720p, it's a lot better. So that's the standard Firefox, basically, without any optimization, running on the PyraDev board. Okay, 
Next step, what would you like? Well, we can open up a few sites because uh, some people mentioned that they love to have hundreds of sites open. So I'm just going to open up a few tabs here, see if it slows down anything. Still looking good so far. Um, maybe the Pyra website. Oh, that was a missed typo. There you go. My shop. So well, still working fine. We got the boards here, the verge here. Engadget, YouTube, ROM hacking, Spiegel Online, Golem, Heise, my bo uh, the German boards, the Pyra website, Dragonbox shop, and well, as you can see, still instantly switching, fast and responsive. So let's, for example, go to some HTML, HTML5 games. Um, for example, Nutrush, no idea what it is, but let's just start it anyways to see how well that will run. There you go. Small top tab, big top hold, okay. Ah, I see. Not that hard. And this is where you will actually see, well, even with all those tabs open, it runs okay. If I close the tabs, it runs a lot faster. And of course, if I set it to the lower resolution, it takes a bit then it works a lot smoother as well. Okay. Any other game here? Yeah. Kiba and Kumba Jungle Chaos, whatever that is. Classic jump and run. Again, let's start with full HD. I guess I'll play that with the keyboard. Well, you can see on Full HD, it's really stuttery already. Yeah, that's not really nice. If I go to 720p, as we've got it on the Pyra screen. Yep, runs a lot better already. So this looks like a not that optimized HTML5 game, but it's still playable with all those tabs open. And as said, this is stock speed. Nothing optimized yet except for the Turbo FB driver. Oh yeah, and of course the desktop is still responsive too, so I can move around Firefox here. I can maximize it. I can still switch between all the tabs, scroll around, go back to the game. So all these are running now at the same time with YouTube and everything. Yeah, and we still got a playable HTML5 game. I hope this is enough for a first uh, video showing you how the standard Firefox will run on the Pira and already runs on the dev board. And I hope you enjoyed the little video. See you next time.